Hello, I am Luos, and in this guide slash tutorial for the Impact Effects Pack, I'm going to show you how to make use of some of the emitter modules used in the package. I'm going to pick the radial ring for this one because it has quite a few options, but this counts for most of the effects. Uh, as you can see, we have a ring here, and the first module that I have is dynamic. It starts with U shift. Now, if it's just a standard constant, you can change this and change the color. I find this easier to use than Color of Life and it allows for some additional features. So if I go for instance with a constant curve and I'm going to change the loop for over time, then you can see it changes all to all the other colors over life. And you can tweak this of course and go back and forth and whatever. You can also make it pick a random color with for instance with float uniform. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure that the max is set to 1 and as you can see it starts flickering. Just enable spawn time only and every time it spawns you have a different color. And that's really cool. Now keep in mind if you go back to a constant always disable spawn time only because it will for some reason disable all the other uh, options in the dynamic node. Now desaturation kind of speaks for itself. If I go to 1 it should disable the color. Often 2 is the better way to go but it's just for additional options now the outer ring radius is well tweaking the outer ring radius if you just use a constant you should go to negative and if you as you can see i'm going to speed it up a little bit then it changes now this is cool if you do it over time let's go to a constant curve and let's add to a race and at the end it should be minus one then obviously you can see it only lasts for a little bit now let's make it a bit longer and slow it down so you can see what's going on there. Now generally I don't need this but I've added it for convenience sake. And there's also the inner ring radius of course and this obviously does the same thing. It's already present in this effect as you can see it slowly fades out but you can tweak it of course. So and it starts with 0.5 but if I to one it should go a little bit faster if it doesn't repeat itself but over out of five is the limit so you could actually go with hmm, keep it zero maybe start with a bigger value or just play around with it and you can add some nice cool features okay now well, that's for the dynamic node and then there's lifetime of course and as you can see i always try to share them so you can tweak the lifetime of all of them at once and there are quite a few in each so i mean there are already 24 in this emitter alone but that's easy to tweak all the values in case you need to same with initial size initial rotation i added an initial rotation rate initially it's turned off if you enable it then as you can see there's some rotation going on i'm gonna make it a bit faster i just don't want anybody to get epilepsy so that's why i'm moving that thing a bit slower uh, size by life you can tweak it of course uh, camera offset you can disable or not but this helps with keeping everything in front of the character the effect is played on now if i do like minus 50 as you can see the effect is behind it i just like to use this to make sure that something is on top of something else uh, the color over life you can play with this uh, initially it it's generally not needed, but you can still tweak the colors if you want to. I mean, at the moment, it's a bit orange-red. But uh, if you play with it, as you can see, it tweaks the colors a little bit at the end. So, let me wait for a few seconds until it spawns again. Shoot. But I tend to keep it this white. And the scale color over life is mainly used for additional brightness, additional redness. So, again, if you change this to another color, it will obviously change the color but i just add these because i have to all right i think that explains most of the modules that i'm using um there are other tutorials online about the modules and you can always check the documentation from unreal of course if anything is broken doesn't make any sense then obviously let me know all right take care